Hi Scorpio, Vince here for 7D Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I don't see it's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Ampat Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned until the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today. And a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. Wow, big opportunity, strength cards, star. Turbulence is over. You paid your dues. And right now, through all the good karma that you have, new synchronicities and opportunities are going to be brought to you from your angels and guides. So right now, they're telling you, dream big, conquer big. Now, in order to get what you're looking for, whether that's a promotion at work or beating Romeo or Juliet, most important thing is the blueprints, right? The only thing your angels and guides, because of free will, cannot give you is the blueprint. So imagine right now, Netflix wants to make a movie. They got the director, producer, the cast, all the money, the budget. What they need is the script. That's the only thing they need is the script because of free will. So you have to know what you're looking for. So for example, if you've been waiting to meet, you know, Romeo and you're like, where is he? Well, what do you got to do? Tell yourself, who is Romeo? Are they six foot two, blonde hair, blue eyes, brunette? Do they have a job? Do they own a business? Do they have a cat, dog? Are they divorced? How tall? How old are they? Where do they work? You know, uh, where do you meet them? Do you meet them at the grocery store? Do they have parents? Do you see where I'm going with this, right? You got to know what you're looking for. This is it. And when you start quantum entangling with that energy, when you start expecting it, the same way you expect your paycheck, they're not like, I really hope I get paid. They're like, where's my money? Same thing. It's your birthright to be with your soulmate. It's your birthright to have people help guide you, mentor you, and to strive for progress and not perfection. Whenever you have that progress in your mind and whenever you're telling yourself, I am taking one step a day, you know what 1% progress a day is? 365% progress in a year. You know what that is? 37x. That is insane if you're 37 next a year. And what that really means is like when you're striving for progress, you're basically saying I'm laying the brick a day building a castle and I'm not like trying to be perfect. Matter of fact, if you are, per if you, if you only, if you're lucky enough not to be perfect, you know why? Because that means you just found out how to be better, right? Like I hope I, whenever I find a diet and I'm like, well, I hope I'm wrong. Why? Because that means I'm going to find something even better. So you never got to worry about that. Now, right now, source is telling you, you got the four swords and the page of swords that there is a little bit of too much of the logical mind preventing the intuitive heart. The intuitive heart is how the universe speaks to you. It's always through feelings and images. It's always heart-based. You feel what to do, your instincts. Why did the universe give every single creature on this planet instincts, right? It's not a coincidence. It's a reason for that, right? And the reason for that is because it's your warning sign. It's really your compass. It's telling you what to do, what not to do. But when the logical mind is controlling your instincts, that's when things get a little difficult. And right now, source is telling you to let go. Because look at this. You got the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Pentacles. Right now, there's like a, a big money block that soon as it's cleared, there's going to be a lot of wealth entering your life. And right now, source is telling you to find joy in the ordinary. Be a voice and not an echo, which really means stand up uh, for yourself against the the... Really limiting beliefs, doubts, and shadows. So for example, like, don't be hard on yourself. You know, watch what you say to yourself. Everything you think, your mind is always eavesdropping on what you have to say. So if you're telling yourself, I'm so silly, why did I do this? Oh my goodness, I made a mistake. No, 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 you didn't do anything wrong. You collect the data, you know what you want and what you don't want. You didn't waste any time. And right now, when you look at it from that perspective, tell yourself, what was the lesson? Ah, I see, I should have done this. Okay, moving on. Now that's what the universe wants. Now you have angel and you have animal spirit, confirmation after confirmation, validation after validation. Your angels are telling you to trust your instincts. This is very, very important. Your instincts may tell you, go to the grocery store right now. You may be like, what the heck? If the logical mind comes in and says, no, but it's Monday, blah, 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 and you don't go, maybe you're supposed to go because maybe that's where you met Romeo. Do you see where I'm going with this? Logical mind, like I'll tell you this, my instincts are the, are the reason I met my wife. I remember, this is 14 years ago, when I wanted to meet my wife, you know, I was, it was Friday night, it was raining, it was after work, I was exhausted, I wasn't going to go anywhere. I got a call from a friend saying, hey, drive four hours to a cabin for a birthday party. I would never go. Like, I'm not down for that kind of stuff. Now, for some reason, my angels and guides, intuitively, they said, go, go. They wouldn't stop. I'm like, all right. So I drove four hours. When I went there, I met my wife 14 years later. Here we are, best decision of my life. So right now, in order for you to get the relationships you're looking for, in order for you to really evolve and just ascend to the person that you truly are and reach your potential, it is essential that you are listening to your instincts, 
good things will come from it. Now, you also got the Hierophant and you got the Two of Wands. Decisions are here to be made. Right now, being decisive is going to help you. And right now, Source is telling you that during this time frame, your vibe will attract your tribe. That's why it's so important to be decisive. Who do you like hanging around with? Someone who's wobbly? Someone's like, I'll come over, but I'm not. Uh, maybe, maybe not. No one wants to be around that. Now, who do you want to be around with? Someone confident. Someone who leads by example. Someone who wants to have a good time, exciting, joyful. That's what Source wants from you. So right now, if you're like, why have I not met my soulmate? Because Source is waiting for you to find yourself. Become the person you want to manifest, and then you will manifest this person immediately. You don't have to wait months, weeks, years. None of that. You can meet them tomorrow, but you got to become the person you want to manifest. And that's why it's so important to instill excellent habits in your life. And right now, you also have grace. And you also have Page of Cups, Grace, Poise, all of these things will come to you when you have a tranquil life, which really means melody in your world, which means harmony in your life, right? And Source is telling you right now during this time frame to do everything you want to do in your life with passion. Passion is excitement. Excitement is the most lucky thing you could have. Imagine right now I had a badge. Whenever I wore this badge, I could get into any restaurant. I could get into any nightclub. I could get into any, anywhere I wanted to go and everything was free. Yeah, that badge is a good badge to have, right? Now, imagine instead of badge, it's excitement. When I'm excited for the food I eat, when I'm excited for the shows I watch, when I'm excited for the conversations I have, imagine if all of a sudden everything was easy. That's what's going on here. Excitement trumps meditation, visualization, everything, guys. Use your imagination and creativity because I do see here that there is some sort of energy block. Once this energy block is cleared, how you do anything is how you do everything. Now, there's no more limiting beliefs, doubts, or shadows. There's no more hesitation, procrastination. Now, your inner child is happy, which is essential because I do see here the inner child is there's a little bit of conflict going on here and uh, right now source is telling you to listen to your inner child because right now your inner child is scared and what happens right now is like when your inner child is scared it prevents you from doing anything so one trick that I love to use I always love to visualize myself holding my inner child's hand like six-year-old Vince and I go up to my child and my inner child and I'm like hey listen it's me your older brother you have nothing to worry about I'm going to take care of you from this day forward I am here for you. You will never want or need for another thing in this world. I am here. And then I feel ah, a sigh of relief. When that inner child is not scared, all of a sudden, now your point of attraction, your power comes out, and that's when things change. And that's when you truly become who you really are, right? And the source is telling you right now, these are the things we want you to focus on. Walk towards your inner being. Take care of your inner child. Instill those excellent habits, right? Make sure that you eat, you're you eating healthy, waking up early, exercising. Make sure you're holding the door open for someone, giving them a compliment. Give that gift of love to someone and like a boomerang will come back tenfold. But make sure right now the last thing you want to be doing is kind of people pleasing. You know, as empaths, we're always trying to make sure everyone's happy. But make sure you are happy. Shine by example. And that's the only thing Source wants from you. All right, Scorpio, now let's get some money and some love into your life. All you got to do is write down the following affirmation in the comment section. And by doing so, you're quantum entangling with abundance. So right now, feel these words. Feeling is the secret, right? This is how you breathe life into these words and ignite them. Feel the words as you write them down in the comment section. Uh, right now, your affirmation is, look at this, my future starts today. This is you acknowledging that today is your lucky day. And right now, you command, assume, expect abundance. My future starts today. Write this down in the comment section. This is you inviting and welcoming what is truly your birthright, which is money and love. My future starts today. Write that down in the comment section. And let the universe know that you, A, are 100% ready and also that you are someone that you know becomes the cause and effect you're not waiting for something you're commanding that energy into your life all right scorpio now final message from your spirit guides final messages look at this see me in their eyes right Right now, the message is, whenever conferring with another, either face-to-face -face or across the miles, whether a human being, departed spirit, or sentient tree, always speak to the highest within them. This means soul to soul. This is what we're doing right now. Rather than like Vince speaking to, you know, Scorpio, you know, human to human, I'm speaking soul to soul. There's no ego here. If your happiness is my happiness, if you're rich, if you're with your soulmate, I am. Trust me, guys. When we go to the fifth dimension, you'll see how beneficial it is for people around you to be happy. Trust me on this. That's why right now, if there's someone in your life and they're you know not acting you know they're acting a little shady they're not really you know showing the love reciprocating it back it's not you it's them right life is a mirror they're not comfortable with themselves maybe they had a rough childhood maybe they have a rough relationship maybe they just had a rough day they ate something that's not digesting who knows but right now understand that's not you it's them just leave them alone let them figure out their life and then they will come back when they are ready and the love will be reciprocated then 
All right, Scorpio, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video, add subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, love is your superpower.